Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to set up an Apache HTTP web server as a load balancer. Now you can see I've got the web server running on localhost here. I've also got two Apache Tomcat servers hosting the examples application. This one's running on port 8088 and this one is running on port 8080. Both of these are exactly the same except they're different. On the one running on port 8080 I put a little 00 token on there and I put a little 01 token on the one running on port 8088 just so that we can tell them apart and prove that load balancing is working. Now you notice that the context root here is slash examples. If I go to localhost slash examples well you'll notice that that gives me a file not found error. So that means I've got two hills to climb right now. First of all, if I ever go localhost slash examples, I want that to forward to the Tomcat servers slash examples. And I also want to balance between these two servers running on these two ports. So that means setting up Apache as a reverse proxy as well as a load balancer. So how do you do it? Well, first you go to the folder in which you installed Apache. You open up that conf subfolder and you look for the magical httpd.com file. Open it up with notepad or edit pad or your text editor of choice and you've got to enable some modules. The first module that you'll want to enable is the lb by requests module. You can see it right there. I've got to uncomment that to enable it. Now what does LB method stand for? Well what are you here for? You're here to load balance stuff and that's what load balances request. LB method by request. So you got to enable that module. Now you also have to enable some of these reverse proxy modules. So the first one you need to enable is proxy module. The next one is the balancer module. The next one to allow HTTP connect objects to go through proxy connect module and then of course we're using the HTTP P protocol HTTP protocol we want to enable that module so those are the proxy modules we need to enable there's also one others that I always forget and this will kill you if you don't do it the slot mem SHM module make sure you have that enabled as well I'm gonna do a save to just make sure that my progress has been updated but we're not done in the HTTPD Dot com file yet. We actually have to configure the load balancer. So we write a little XML here and say that we're going to have a load balancer which we're just going to colloquially refer to as my cluster. And that balancer is going to have two members in it. The first balancer member is going to be localhost on port 8080 and the second one is going to be that server running on port 8088. We saw those earlier right we've got two Apache Tomcat servers hosting this examples app one on port 8080 the other on port 8088 and we want Apache to load balance between those. We want it to spray request to each of those servers. So that configures this balancer which we shall forever refer to as balancer colon slash slash my cluster. Now we also have to configure the reverse proxy. So we do this little proxy preserve host on setting just to preserve the host names as requests go through the reverse proxy. Then we set up the proxy pass setting and this is a forward proxy and it says examples should always be handled by balancer slash my cluster examples. Now this is really the most important one is the reverse proxy and so the reverse proxy is what allows Apache to handle a request that comes in look at the context root look at the slash examples mapping after the URL and then forward it to Tomcat that's essentially the role of reverse proxy so we configure the proxy pass reverse <laughs> it's going to be the exactly same as what I've got up here so I'm just going to do a little copy and paste and say hey if any request comes in for slash examples well forward it to 
any of the servers that participate in the my cluster balancer and specifically the path slash examples on them. So that sets up the reverse proxy. And again, that's mapping to this proxy balancer that we set up earlier. Now I'm just going to make sure that all of my spelling is correct. Proxy pass reverse proxy. Oh, there we go. Proxy preserve host on proxy pass slash examples balancer. All of this looks good to me. I think I am ready to restart my Apache web server and see if all of this is working. So here we go. The server is stopped. I'm going to start it up again. HTTPD.exe. I'm going to come back to localhost over here. Do a refresh because sometimes the page is cached, but it looks like localhost is working. Now, if I do slash examples, will this forward to one of the Tomcat servers? That's the question. So let's see if this is working. I'll click enter and boom, all of a sudden it's working. Now you'll notice that here it's just port 80, right? Just the basic localhost. But this server here on port 8080 is the one that has the 00 token on it. And you can see that's the one that we hit first. Now, what if I refresh this page? boom, all of a sudden we see 01, which is the token that is placed in port 8088's application server. We click request again, you'll see that even though we're saying localhost slash examples, not specifying a particular server, well, the Apache HTTP web server is performing the load balancing against the Tomcat servers on the back end for us. It is now working as a load balancer based on the settings that we put together in the httpd.con file. Furthermore, the Apache HTTP server is also acting as a reverse proxy as it handles all requests on the slash examples context route and forwards them to one of the servers in the back end. And so there you go. That's how easy it is to configure Apache to act as a reverse proxy and to have the Apache HTTP web server act as a load balancer for your Tomcat servers or for any other server that's running in the back end. Now, if you enjoyed the tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Apache, Tomcat, Git, DevOps, enterprise development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And I don't like to beg, but why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?